I think on a very basic level, uh, the venture process is really how we know everything that we know at Ashoka. If we look at where does the knowledge come from that Ashoka has been really being a been able to to propel forward, if you look at empathy, for example, it's from the fellows that we derive the learning that helped us develop that that whole initiative. Um, similarly, Youth Venture came out of our looking across the fellowship and seeing that the common thread here is that the things that work are those youth programs that put the young people in charge. So it's that kind of learning that we, that we can, can build from looking across the fellowship is one of the reasons why we really need to grow the fellowship and continue to bring in uh, new ideas all the time because that learning is what's going to move the world forward. The launch of the empathy program, the money came because the fellows opened the doors, because we went together. And the investors said, oh, this is really powerful. I haven't seen anything like this. And this is about framework change. And these people know how they're going to tip the world. As the knowledge team, uh, start to integrate uh, more closely with the venture team, venture will naturally become more integral to the, the different pillars that we're trying to build towards this everyone to change maker society. So they're the kind of two components that I see. On the one hand, the 3,000 fellows, they're the beacons and the mass recruiters of change makers, absolutely essential to building this world. And the second piece is, as the venture team take more responsibility for the knowledge components, that will increasingly integrate them into the vision as well. There's a concept, direct consequence of how representative the fellowship is of society in how well um, the Venture and Fellowship Program will serve our VCE strategy. The work that Ashoka is doing now is to really leverage and learn from the trends that uh, we have. Uh, seen and understand through the election of, of our fellows and if we are only capturing a small portion of the world's answers to those problems we're only going to be finding a solution that's relevant to a small percentage and what do I mean by that if we are trying to change uh, child literacy for it for example we need the best ideas from all over the world and if we're missing 25% of the population the solution that we come up with uh, from the ideas that we have surfaced is only going to be 20, uh, 75% relevant uh, for the world. We're constantly learning from the fellows that we are selecting through the actual the rigor of the process and that's feeding into the decisions that we make about what, what um, BCEs we're developing and, and, and the places that we want to focus our energy. You know, we reach, really need to be broader in a way, right? Um, the venture process is such a rich process of learning about what's happening around the world. Uh, it's something that, that no other organization even comes close to having the ability to, you know, to having the privilege and the ability to see as we're constantly looking at these new ideas. So we need to do much better at actually capturing that learning and plugging that learning in to everything else that's happening. And so one of the things that I think is part of the fun is figuring out how do I take this knowledge that is occurring to me as I'm looking at fellows across a given category, say, and, and make that useful to Ashoka. And so one of the things I would love to see as we go forward is to see that knowledge captured in better ways. One, one aspect that we would, um, you know, really really hope to improve is is that we are capturing knowledge in a much better way um, that feeding into the organization so that we can benefit um, all parts of Ashoka. I think that sometimes we get pressed for time and we're not spending enough in, in, uh, attention to the fact that um, what we write about our, each candidate and the way we communicate about, um, about the candidate is not just for a board approval. It's basically so that we can um, understand the trends better, what's of innovation in the world, how we can um, 
be, be sources of, of innovation for and engines of change within Ashoka. Venture is such a knowledge-laden, judgment-building um, um, activity that it should be core to our conversations and we should really be seeking to engage the best of what Venture has to offer in that regard. So I think it should be core to so many of our other conversations in other parts of Ashoka. Essentially, Venture teaches us how to talk to people. That's, that's the way I sort of look at what Venture gives the organization. It gives us access to new ideas um, and a way to think about how new ideas um, interlock and interlace around the world. Um, but it also gives us uh, a way and a set of tools and a broad experience of, of how we talk to social entrepreneurs um, and how we guide their own thinking and how we guide them into a network which, as a whole, is, is really meant to have um, uh, and does have a transformative effect on the world. At Ashoka, we learn what we ought to be doing by engaging with leading social entrepreneurs through the venture process and through the fellowship. Uh, so Ashoka, I think Ashoka is very distinctive because our agenda is in some way set by learning that we do um, with our colleagues uh, across the field. And so that's, that's actually baked into the VCE process. So if we're going to be successful at creating a world which everyone is a change maker, we have to learn what we need to focus on through this distinctive approach of, of venture collaborative entrepreneurship at the core of that, our fellows, venture fellowship.